If you're wondering what you should do to start wrapping up this year, or maybe you're wondering what you should do to plan for next year, then this video is for you. My name is Nicole, and on this channel, I share my journey to become a loan signing agent and entrepreneur. Well, hey there, friends. It's been such a long time since I posted on YouTube. I did not mean to take such a big break, but I'm back. Um, let me get you caught up on my life and my business over these past few months. So first, my dogs had puppies. So my Australian Shepherd Mocha had puppies at the beginning of September. She had a litter of 10 healthy, beautiful puppies. We've raised them here in our home. They got all adopted to wonderful families on Halloween weekend. Um, so that took over most of my free time, as you can imagine. It was a little bit more work than we anticipated going into it, but it was super fun to have them, and I'll drop some cute photos in here too so you can see them. Um, but I did have to take a little hiatus for my business during that time, um, as you can imagine. Uh, so this past month, really, I've been working on getting back into things and getting my business up and running again. So don't worry, I'm still at it. I'm still a loan signing agent, an entrepreneur, and I'll be posting more YouTube videos. So let's get back into the video and begin with five things that I think you should do to wrap up the year. Now, before I get into my five tips, I want to share that if you found this video to be helpful, then you're going to love my digital resources. I have a variety of different types to help anybody in their loan signing journey from digital downloads to the resource vault, which has all of my digital downloads to my online course to one-on-one -on -one coaching. So be sure to check out the links below. Now let's take a peek at those five things that I'm doing to wrap up 2021. The first is to show gratitude. So think of who helped you in your business this past year and think of ways of how you can express your thanks to them. It could be a thoughtful gift, uh, a note that you send them. Just think of ways that you can express how much they meant to you in your business this past year. The second tip is to set goals for the upcoming year. I'll actually be touching more about this in the second part of this video, so make sure that you watch, but think of what goals you can set for 2022. I'll share five tips on what I'll be doing to set new goals for the new year. Plus, you'll want to make sure that you watch until the end because I have a special announcement that goes with goal setting. And also, as you know, all my videos have freebies. So make sure that you watch the end so that you can get your freebie for this video. My third tip is to review your finances. So think back this past year on what went well, um, maybe what kind of changes that you want to make. Look at your profits and losses and see if you want to make any changes for this coming year. Maybe you offer some sort of service in your business like loan signing agents tend to do and see if you want to adjust any of your prices for the coming year. You can also start getting yourself organized for tax season coming up and make sure you have all your documents ready to go. My fourth tip is to brainstorm ways that you can improve in your business for the upcoming year. You can get reviews from clients, feedback from people that you've interacted with in your business, um, and use all this information to think of what you want to do to make your business even better for the upcoming year. My fifth tip is to celebrate. Don't forget to think of everything that went well in your business this year, all you accomplished, your big achievements, and to really celebrate all of these wins. So throw yourself a little party, think of all your highlights of the past year and celebrate. Now, part two of this video is all about goal setting and the process for set, setting goals, not only into the new year, but really at any time. But what a great way to get into goal setting by setting some big goals for us for 2022. Let's get into the five steps for how to set goals. 
The first step is to dream big. I want you to grab your pen and paper, or maybe you wanna do this digitally, and write down anything that comes to mind. You're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes and just go and dream big, your biggest goals for yourself, anything that comes to mind, get it down. Now, don't worry, this is just a rough draft. And the second step will be picking and choosing what goals we wanna focus on. But right now, this first step, you're just figuring out kind of what your biggest goals could possibly be and dream big. Now, don't worry also, I'm gonna share an example at the end so you can get more of an idea of what this looks like. The second step is you're gonna take what you just brainstormed and you're gonna narrow down to focus on just a few goals. Now, you're gonna pick and choose what really lights you up, what you're really passionate about, and those are the goals that you're gonna focus on first. Now, for this, I suggest that less is more and only focus on really a few big goals that you have for yourself or for your business. So get those down again on paper or digitally and take that with you in this third step. So now that you've established what goals you're gonna be working towards this coming year, in step three, you're gonna create a roadmap for yourself of what it takes to get to that goal. So you're gonna start breaking down what steps that you need to take to get to that big goal. Um, think of your time frame. So if your time frame is 12 months, a full year, you're gonna think of 12 different steps that you can take and get and create a roadmap for yourself that would get you to that end goal. Maybe your goal only takes six months to achieve. Your roadmap then will be six different steps that you can take to get to that end point. So in this third step, you're creating a roadmap for each goal that you want to accomplish in 2022. Step four now is all about implementing. So now that you've had time to think through your roadmap each month throughout the next year for however long your goal timeframe is, you're gonna be referring back to your roadmap and choosing that step that you need to accomplish that month. You're bringing it down into that smaller chunk and working just towards that next step to get you closer to your goal. Each month then you'll be reflecting back on how the previous month went and what steps that you need to take in the upcoming month. Now this could change and your roadmap isn't set in stone. So that's why it's an important part to reflect every month to see where you're headed and how many more steps and kind of what those steps look like to get to your end goal. The fifth and last step now is to journal. I recommend journaling weekly and also daily so that you can get clear on what you want and really practice on recognizing and being intentional with the decisions that you're making in your life and in your business. This practice is great to start for the new year, so I recommend starting it as soon as you can so that you can get closer to your goals and make these actionable steps to what you uh, have set out for yourself and for your business. Now it's time for an example. So let's say that in 2022, one goal you have is that you wanna pick up two new title offices and market to them directly. So let's say that you chose the time frame of six months. You're gonna follow that five step process that I just outlined for you. So you dreamed up your big goal, you narrowed it down to a specific goal with a time frame, and now you're gonna create a roadmap. So that's where you're outlining the different steps it would take to get to that goal. So let's say to market to that title office, um, you are gonna pop by there, drop up some treats, introduce yourself, follow up with some emails, support them in any way that you can, show up to um, maybe different events that they're hosting, follow them on social media, um, express how you can help them in their business um, and share with them your 
talents and ways that you can um, work as a loan signing agent. Then after you have that roadmap, you're gonna then monthly choose the step that it takes to get to that end goal and then reflect weekly and journal daily on the actions that you're taking to get to that end goal of marketing to those two title offices. So hopefully that example helps. This really can be a framework for any goal that you set for your business or even in your personal life. So your task right now is to start implementing these five steps to get into the new year dreaming big and seeing big progress in your business. Now, if you're wondering, hmm, maybe I need a little support or would love to do this kind of in a workshop. Well, you are in luck if you're watching this video live. Upcoming, I have a live workshop on Instagram Live on January 2nd. It's Sunday. It's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern time. In this workshop, I'm going to be leading you through these five steps on planning goals for the new year. It'll be a fun, interactive way to start planning and thinking of what you want to accomplish in this new year. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram so that you're notified when I'm going live. I'd love to have you join. If you can't join me live, I will be saving it so you can catch the replay on my Instagram account. And let's make it a party too. So make sure that you invite a friend, you can uh, join them virtually on Instagram and make sure that you bring something to write with. As I wrap up this video, I wanna first thank you so much for your support this past year. It's been an amazing journey so far. I can't believe that it's already the end of 2021. We're going into 2022 and I'm just so happy to have you here following me along on my journey. Make sure too that if you haven't connected yet that you say hi below. Tell me below too in the comments what's on your end of the year checklist or maybe what are some goals that you have going into the new year. I'd love to connect with you and see how you are doing in your business. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.